Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jacob from JK Bros Sports Cards. Today we got the annual Tops Major League Soccer Hobby Box opening on the channel. i uh, excited for this because, well, it's never a lot of MLS stuff to come out, but uh, if you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you know that Major League Soccer is a staple of it. Um, and to have one of the only releases each year coming out and, and being able to open it near release day is always exciting. So this is the 2022 edition. Try not to knock my camera over. You're promised uh, three autos or relic cards, most likely relic cards, uh, because if you look at the checklist, which I did uh, a day or two ago, there is not a lot of autos. I mean, you can get autos, but the checklist for autos, there's only nine people. Um, and I was very surprised by that. I thought there would be uh, more. And especially with, I don't know, I mean, the Players Association and, and just the fact that all the teams are local, I'm just very surprised that they can't get more people to sign cards. Um, but we'll see if we can get any today. Uh, yeah, so 24 packs uh, per box. You can get three hits in here. Um, last year's release did not go very well uh, for a couple of reasons that most people had similar experiences. A lot of people were shorted a hit. Uh, quality control wasn't too good. And the amount of parallels that you got was very lacking. And uh, For those reasons in general, especially the price that they're asking for, it's just not very good. You know, it's pretty upsetting. And, and especially, uh, even for me, I would say um, it was disappointing for me as well. Uh, but we'll see if, if this year we can do any better. So Brooks Lennon, uh, these are the base cards look. Got a little uh, position on the bottom. Um, the team, not super prominent. I feel like I would rather than put it maybe up in opposite corner. The name is very prominent, though, and the name is very easy to read. And that's not always the case. So I like that. Uh, Brooks Lennon, 20, 222 uh, Brenner. So I do like that placement there. Um, let's take a look. Ooh, already got a hit in the first pack. Um, wow, I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, so, okay. So he's new. So let's look at one with some experience. This is pretty typical little information. I like this pretty easy to read this year. Um, and then you got some general stats for experience, but wow. All right. I already got a first hit. Felipe Mora. Uh, Leon Flash. Uh, that's actually a pretty good rookie card to pull. Um, and that makes me mention of a couple guys that have rookie cards that you probably want to look for. Uh, this is probably one of them. Say Alan Velasco, FC Dallas. Probably another big one. Um, actually, I'm going to throw him up there right off the bat. We'll, we'll see if we can top that. Uh, Diego Amada for uh, Lane United. That's a big one to look for. And then Talos Magno for NYCFC. That's another big one as well. Um, so I looked at the checklist and uh, Reynosa. Actually, let's go over this hit first. All right. Albert Rusnak, a midfielder match used. Uh, car looks pretty good. Kind of got a soft corner on the right. Uh, not too bad. Actually, pretty solid player to get. His eyes look <laughs> a, little, a little odd there. <laughs> uh, and this is a number out of ooh, uh, 700. Okay. We'll have to see if, if I can clean off this card a little bit. A little, little dimple. Dang, a couple dimples in the back. I would not say this is in the greatest condition. Uh, but this is interesting because the relic set, the, the checklist is really big. Um, and I think the, the numbering for these players varies quite a bit. So there's only 700 of this one. Uh, we'll put them up there and we'll keep this show going. But anyways, with the checklist, it did not designate rookie cards on there, which I thought was very odd. Maybe it was just... Um, 
the one that I looked at, it's on Cardboard Connection. You can see the rookies if you download the Excel file, um, but I just thought it was odd how it wasn't very prominent. Facundo uh, Guignon, I'm not sure if I said that right. All right, this is the, uh, shoot, what do they call these? Um, it's a young player's checklist. Pitch prodigies, ah, pitch prodigies, right there. Federico Navarre. Uh, so interesting looking. It's a little, little wild, um, but I, I'm i okay with it. Very nice. Nice to highlight some of those young players there. Josie out the door. Got the nice new crust here. Actually, I'm surprised they have it. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> First two packs already have two hits. Uh, Achara. Oh my gosh. Chara here. I'm not super familiar with this player, uh, so I'll have to do a little bit of looking there. You know, I would have saved the hits for later, but I, I just wasn't expecting to have to slow roll this. Um, and, I mean, I did get an auto, so I was not expecting to get an auto, and I say that, and then the second pack, I did get an auto. So this is very uh, interesting break here. I'll put the roost stack down on the side. Um, wow, so very interesting. Dang, I'm going to have to go slow in this top one. I don't want to get all three of my hits in the first three packs, but very, wow, <laughs> very eventful couple packs here. Uh, I don't think this is a hit here. Artur, Columbus. I do like the base cards. I really do. Uh, what I don't like is how they have team cards in a 200-card checklist, once again. I, I just don't like this. And I'm missing some more cards here. Talos Magno, that's a rookie card that I'm looking for here. Very nice one there. Dang, I feel like we got some good rookies. Got an auto, got a, a solid vet relic in the first couple packs here. Uh, who else did we have here? Inner miami uh, uh, Kieta, Christian Ortiz, so Charlotte FC, new club, so this is their brand new, um, brand new club, so first cards for them there. All right, dang, very eventful couple packs here. <laughs> Carlos Vela, uh, Christian Fuchs, João Paulo, uh, hope he recovers well, Jack McGlynn, also, another good rookie. This is probably another solid one to look for. Um, just Philadelphia uh, Union players in general. Good good to look for. Joseph Martinez. Then we got another Pitch Prodigies, Diver Casado. Probably pretty solid. Pretty solid guy to pull as well. So, first couple packs. A lot of good rookies. Some solid Pitch Prodigies. Have an auto when definitely an auto is not guaranteed there. There's a lot going on. So I'm opening this on Saturday while release day was just a couple of days ago. I haven't watched any other breaks yet. I will at some point. Chofis. Dane Sinclair. Wonder if he gets on World Cup roster this year for Canada. 2222, David Ochoa. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then, man, these might be all the hits in the first couple of packs. Um, Christian Roldan. So it looks like we got a bit of a Seattle hot box. This is number two, a thousand. All right. So, um, you know, Rosneck, good player to get. Uh, Roldan. Let's use this thick one. Okay. Christian Roldan, a national team uh, player. So, not too disappointed here uh, to get a pretty solid, solid player. If you look at the checklist, this would not be a bad one to get. And we'll try to get this guy in this card sleeve here. Let me try a different one. Yeah, so... Um, they should have retail out. Okay, here we go. Should have retail out. Christian Rodon. And I will open that whenever that comes out. Vancouver Whitecaps. Or whenever I can find it. Excuse me.
Thiago Almada. <laughs> Man, I, this is definitely the other one that I wanted to, to hit too for the rookie cards. So doing very well in the rookie card sector. Uh, they didn't have it demarcated very well on the checklist. So I'm really not sure exactly how many rookies there are. Might be like 20 or something like that. Not entirely sure. Uh, wow, only NYCFC, <laughs> Robin Lode, Paxton Pomichol, Charlotte FC. So just the, the stadium there. Of course, they uh, fired their head coach recently. International players, Julian Gressel. Nice. Let's take a look at the back here. Uh, for Germany. Nice. Let's put some more inserts over here. Um, Axel Kai. Yeah, he's real young. Yeah, okay, yes. Like, I knew about this player. Youngest player ever to be signed. 14-year-old. Uh, I mean, this is one of those deep prospect players where um, might not see a payoff for a couple years, but definitely probably a good guy to hang on to there. DC United and Frankie Amaya. Um, yeah, so they haven't announced any other releases yet uh, as far as this recording for any other MLS. I'm expecting Topps Chrome again. I think they really like doing their Chrome stuff with soccer. Um, not sure if there's going to be anything else. So. LAFC, cool celebration picture there. Jack Price. Walker Zimmerman, Federico Navarro for Chicago Fire. So getting a lot of rookies, about one in every pack. Demir Krylak, just under one back surgery. Uh, Austin FC, Gustavo Bo, one of the only guys staying around for the Revs, it seems like. And Kevin Cabral, uh, Pitch Prodigies, another good one. Uh, for LA Galaxy. The cards look pretty nice, actually. Look at On second look, I'm actually digging the Pitch Prodigies this year. Um, so no numbered cards. Before last year, I would say you probably got four or five numbered cards a box. I think last year when I ripped, I maybe got two. Maybe. Christian Rango. Efrain Alvarez. Michael Estrada. International players, uh, Chara. Um, so I don't know how to say his last name, but got an auto of his. Uh, pretty solid. I'm not sure if he's going to get on. Um, yeah, let's see. Nigeria, all right. Diver Casado, rookie card. Another uh, nice looking card there. Uh, looks like with Pitch Prodigies, they do have. The rookie card logos for each of them, which is, I would say, good. Jordan Morris, Herbert, and then a Isaac Atanya for um, Cincinnati. Not super familiar with him. Oh, pitch Prodigies. Well, I guess I didn't sleep with the other ones. Not super familiar with him. Wonder if he was a super draft pick or not. I think they have done pretty well with some of their super draft picks. But. Um, Diego Chara, Caleb Wiley. I think he scored against Sporting KC in the season opener. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, interesting that the lettering here is off centered. I'm trying to find a different one. I don't know. It's a little off centered to me. Uh, another solid guy to get. Uh, Blaze uh, Matuti, Julian Rocco, ooh, ooh, black pitch prodigies, uh, Zan Kalmanic. I wonder if this is numbered. Ooh, one of one. <laughs> ooh, let's go. Oh man, this is a sweet looking card too. I don't know a lot about this guy. Uh, oh, okay, that's ooh. Okay, man, this has been some fireworks on this break today. Um, I really don't know anything about him. He's a defender. Uh, 
I'm gonna get a different top loader there. That one's a little goobered up. Colmonic, a beautiful looking car, just with the design. Um, I thought these were gonna be number to 10. Whew. One of seven players to make at least 30 appearances. Uh, Slovenian player. Wow, I'm gonna have to do some work on Tells Magno. Sorry, man, you're going off. Got a 101 in an auto. I don't think you can ask for much more uh, in this break, to be honest. I mean, really, you can't. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Austin FC is a good club. Done pretty well. Um, but yeah, if anyone knows anything on Zahn, Colmonic, please let me know. Uh, Tavon Gray, John Gregus, Honey Mukhtar. I know he's got an auto in this set. Uh, Caleb Wiley. Uh, what are they calling these? I'm going to look that up really quick. I'm sorry. This is, I think, a new a new set. Not Big City Strikers. Not International Players. It's not a mini. Oh, I think this is a scholarly insert. I'm pretty sure this is a scholarly. Uh, Caleb Wiley. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. I'm not really sure exactly what the point of this insert is, but... You know, kind of cool with the pitch background. Um, I guess this is probably an academy list, actually. Talk about the academy. If we see any more of those, I'll, I'll, I'll double check on that. Pretty sure that's the case, though. Uh, Castellanos looking to make a move probably this summer. Philadelphia Union, Raul Ruiz Diaz. Congrats to the Sounders uh, winning that CCL championship. Ricardo Pepe. Uh, Facundo Torres, another solid rookie card to get. I feel like I'm just hitting a lot of good rookie cards. I don't think we've had any repeats yet. Uh, Christian Caceres, Brian Rodriguez, U22 there. Not sure if it says which number he is. Um, I would love it if they said what number on the U22 that person was. I didn't see it explicitly mentioned there. But, uh, sorry, guys. This is probably going to be a little longer break than normal just more stuff to kind of sift through than I would have imagined. Uh, Alan Velasco, Pitch Prodigies. There we go. There we go. Another solid name here. Um, I feel like that's one of the reasons why I feel like... Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, K.O. Alexandre, rookie card. I feel like Top Sumos has gotten some flack uh, the last couple years, which I feel like honestly deservedly so. But uh, nice, Ken Clark, uh, scholarly set here, very nice. But I just feel like there's so much potential um, because. Uh, and there we go. MLS has become a seller's lead, really, and they've really been kind of a part in the international uh, talent pool, contributing. Uh, through academies and, and so forth and and buying players and, and, and selling them for more. Um, Diver Casado, rookie card here, 2222. So I just feel like, you know, you can get a lot of good players, their first cards in the MLS flagship product. Um, and that's why I, I still think this is a good rip. Talos Magno, Pitch Prodigies. Very nice, very nice card here. Hey, getting some good cards here. Uh, another scholarly set, Diego Fagundes. Uh, he's one of the OG Academy guys for um, uh, New England Rest. First home garden log, 10,000 minutes. Very nice looking card here. I, I do like the look of that. I like the, the point of it too. Uh, Kevin Cabral, rookie card. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know if this is unusual or uh, Brandon by Ryan Hollingshead. Whew, with the with the mustache going from FC Dallas here. Um, yeah, so I, I still think it's going to be worth a rip. Uh, the price for this, I got this pre-sale for 90 bucks. I'm seeing people get it for 80. I think 80 is, is close to fine. Uh, that's about $3 a pack. 
Carlos Hill, a Frankie, or not Frankie, uh, Thiago Amada, uh, Pitch Prodigies. Um, I, I, I say it'd probably be, it's good for 80, for sure. Uh, Christian Rodon, Kellen Acosta, LAFC. Was he in the Academy? Oh, FC Dallas Academy. I don't know why I, I, I blinked on that. Um, Orsedo Brea, Colorado Rapids, Tom Twyer, former SK, SKC guy, and then Cameron Harper, rookie card uh, for the Red Bulls. So if you're just looking academy players in general, or just academies to look at, anyone from the Union, anyone from Dallas, anyone from the Red Bulls, those are all going to be solid players to look for. I would say those are probably the top three. I might be missing some. Um, NYCFC is proven to be solid. Uh, Danny Leva. I think he, Ake Loba. Uh, so if you're unsure of like, who should I be looking for like from academies, anyone from those academies would be great. Portland Timbers, Sebastian Drusi, Reed Baker uh, Whitting. In Seattle, Seattle too. That would be another one. Um, just anyone from their academy. It's a good get here. It looks like he's born 05, so he's uh, 17 maybe. Just that little bit. Uh, Jesus Freira. Can he be the national team guy? I'm not sure. Axel Kai. Pitch prodigies. Um, I'm losing track of how many we've been pulling, so we'll have to look at the end of the break, uh, Christian Espinoza, and see how many we've been getting uh, in each pack. It's been a lot. It's been close to one, either a pitch prodigies, which are all rookies, uh, or just straight up rookie cards. So uh, Zan Kolmanik, uh, pitch prodigies there. So got the got the base, got the one of one. Uh, dang, dude, the green, this pops so well, though. It just, it looks so nice. Big fan of that insert set. Uh, Ayo Akinola. I think he's recovering. You see all that? Man, 2-1 pack. Reed Baker winning. No other parallel cards, though. Uh, that's probably the one thing that I'm really looking for is, is pull base parallels. Um. I'm looking for one or two. Yimmy Chara, Carlos Vela, international players, Mexico. Not sure if he will ever get back in that picture there. Uh, Lucas Cavallini, uh, Kieta. How do you say it? Ububaka, Kieta, Pitch Prodigies, Colorado. I feel like Colorado's Academy has really picked it up recently. Uh, Romain uh, Metanier. I'm trying to think of what would we be expecting. Okay, base car parallels. One in every 37. Uh, green. What is the green? One in 49. Gold in uh, one in 73. Orange, one in 70. Okay, so that, that just shocks me. They must make a ton of this because the odds of even getting one parallel you're not even supposed to get one. That's just incredibly shocking to me. It used to be that you get probably four or five. Um, Kaseo Alexandre. You get four or five in one box, and now you're not even supposed to get one blue. That's just so shocking to me. They must be printing so much more of this from what they used to. Chicharito, uh, Barrios, Joseph Martinez. I feel like I got another one. I, I think I uh, might have an image variation in there. Alvaro Barrial, Jalen Lindsay. This is a former SKC Academy player. Um, Ake Loba, Pitch Prodigies. Just in the different colors too. The green pops, uh, the yellow pops. I really like the design of that this year. And the scholarly, um, Kevin Molino. I really like the concept of that checklist to focus on the academy players. I think that's great. International players, solid set. Can't go wrong with that. Um, but there's been some really terrible inserts 
And I don't think I've, any of the ones I've got, I, none of them are bad. Uh, Albert Rusnak, Kane Clark, U22 player, Freddy Montero, um, Brian Galvan, not familiar with this guy either. Another Colorado player. Uh, if you're a new channel, um, myself and my brother Justin, who's uh, Mio Reynosa, international player for Argentina. Uh, John Tolkien, that's got to be an image variation. Look at that. What a dope looking card, to be honest. I'm going to set that aside. I can guarantee you that's an image variation. Frank Alvarez and uh, Sebastian Legette. Um, yeah, we are Sporting KC fans. I don't think I've opened, I've pulled a single sporting card in this break. Which shows another limitation that I think for this product, which is you got to make the checklist bigger. Alex Ring, uh, Liam Flash, 22 player. It's a good guy to get. Uh, just very, very solid. Very solid. Realize that you have the 22 and 22 there. Um, who? Oh, okay. Uh, first mini here. Uh, okay, so we got a charter there. What do the minis look like? All right. Uh, Wow, these are very old school looking. Um, hmm. Interesting. Ivanov. Stanislav Ivanov. Uh, interesting looking. I don't hate how these look. Uh, very interesting kind of playing. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, Gadikinda. SKC is now on the board. Uh, Kieran Gibbs. A Michael... Bob Dissimo, Pitch Prodigies, and then a uh, Stefan Fry base. But that that's the thing. Um, soccer, there's a lot of players, and I mean, this is a paper box. I mean, there's like 100 cards. A 200 card checklist, especially they're making so much. It, it's just, it's too small. It's too small. Uh, Cecilio Dominguez, Mamadou Fall, Sia Montreal. Uh, Fafa Picot. And another Aaron Long. Got another mini here. <laughs> nice. Uh, something I've noticed too is they're throwing the rookie cards on the logo on everything. On every single insert. Miles Robinson. Hope he recovers fast. Carl Pepe. Gonzalo Higuain. They're just throwing the rookie card on everything. Before they weren't putting the rookie card on anything. And now they're just going all over the place, along with the pitch prodigies too. I think they're getting more consistent, which is good. I think so. That's been a complaint I've had for years. Uh, Bill Amid, Giassi Zardes. That's a cool looking card too, with the bike. Um, I do need a look, yeah, on, on which are the image variations. Real Salt Lake. Dang, hot, we got a hot streak here. Uh, Castellanos, mini, dang, three in a row. Wow, nice. Um, but yeah, it's looking, looking good there. Uh, Calvin Harris, pitch parties. I'm pretty sure he was a super draft pick. I'm pretty sure he was pretty high, and I'm pretty sure he's been a solid get for FC Cincinnati. Number two overall, okay, know what I'm talking about, that's good. Um, yeah. Mark Anthony K, San Jose Earthquakes, and Sean Johnson. And that's part of the thing, too, is Tops makes so little of MLS. I mean, you just gotta complain, honestly. I mean, when it's not perfect, Johnny Russell, nice. Um, Ayo Akinola, Edson Flores, Darlington Nagby. Reed Bader, uh, Baker Whiting mini. It's just, you got to make sure it goes right because there's not like another set you can look forward to later in the year. Um, that'll make everything better, you know, so. Um, all right, four more packs left. I usually try to make these videos, well, not half an hour, to be frank. Uh, so if you're sticking with me, 
Thank you so much. Uh, whew, this is definitely, okay, I also didn't know what would uh, Musa Jite. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is got to be a pink parallel, but this is not numbered. <laughs> not numbered pink parallel. Interesting. I didn't know that they had... Uh, not numbered pink parallels? Okay, I'll have to look at that later. This video is way too long for me to stop now, but um, I'll have to look more into that. Seattle Sounders, I was not expecting something like that. Uh, Cameron Harper, Pitch Prodigies. Go ahead and sleeve that up really quick. Um, dang, guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. This has been such a long video. Um... Honestly, because there's been a lot of solid cards to look through. I feel like in a lot of ways, uh, Corey Baird, uh, Jite, international players, Calvin Harris, rookie card, Kim Moon Huang, Jane Nelson. There's just been a lot more interesting cards to look at this year um, in a lot of ways. And I, I think that's that's been a good thing. And I think that's led to a much longer video. Not a big fan of getting... All my hits so soon in the break, though. Um, I feel like that's a common case, though. Shakiri, Lucas Delarion, nice picture there. Ian Hoffman. And now we got another parallel, a Raul Rui Diaz. Um, so this is a lot more standard here. Numbered out of 99. Uh, what do we got here? 69 on 99. There's any vet to get, Raul Ruiz Diaz would be probably the guy to get. Um, for sure. Not sure where to put this. Uh, Columbus Crew, Jesus Ferreira, New York Red Bulls, and Patrick Kamala. Especially a couple guys get two cards. Um, I don't know. If you think about per team, you take off all the team cards, 175, 2018s. Looking about six cards per team. Jacques Machu Ruti. Michael Baldissimo. Ricky card there. Another nice one. Another nice one here. All right. Uh, you might have to 1.5 speed this video. <laughs> FC Cincinnati. Elfran Alvarez. Internationals. Pitch Prodigies. Uh, Brian Galvan. I'm just not going to sleep that right now. Maxi Morales. Another one. Stanislav uh, Ivanov and Adam Buxa, who just is probably going to make a move to RC Linz in Legun. Uh, now the guy who saw his stock go up a lot with great performances in MLS. Andrei Shinashinki, Sporting Kansas City, um, Francisco Ginella, Pitch Prodigies, LAFC, Alejandro Bedoya, Lewis Morgan, Matt Turner. Isaac, Atanya, Rookie, and Nashville FC. So let's do a quick recap. Um, tons of rookies. Basically got every rookie that I would possibly be looking for. Very few, if any, overlap. I don't know what this is, this pink. I, I, I don't know what this is, but this is a pink parallel to... Um, there's tons, uh, two, four, six, eight... 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, like 20, 21 rookies. And it's got all the top ones, all, all the top ones in there. Um, let's see, for international players, got one, two, three, four, five, six international players. No repeats there, so very solid here. Um, of the minis, got one, two, three, four minis, two rookies. The scholarly set, uh, actually one of my favorites in terms of concept-wise. Uh, I got, I think, one, yeah, one rookie there. It's just nice. This is very nice. Uh, pitch prodigies. Let's take a quick look at, see how many we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and then twenty. So almost one a pack. So if these are all rookies, all of those, you got like 40 rookie cards. Um, so that's very good. Um, 
I mean, condition is fine. The, the roost neck's honestly a little, little dimply there. Um, we got two base relics here. Got an auto, which isn't guaranteed, um, of Achara for Toronto. And then got a nice 101 pitch prodigies is on Quimonic, uh from as well. Uh, that is it for the rip. Let me know what you guys think. This is a super long video. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, super long video. I think in a lot of ways, this has improved over previous years. I'm still baffled by how hard it is to get parallels and to get um, a larger auto checklist. But I do think in a lot of ways, this is better than last year. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, thanks for checking this one out. Next video that I'm doing will be a short one. It's going to be H2 Chronicles uh, Hobby Hybrid Soccer 2020-2021. Looking for a couple U.S. Men's National Team players, such as Serginho Dest, Yunus Musa, and then Jedi Robinson as well. Um, but we do a lot of MLS on this channel, so we'll be doing more retail. If you like what you saw, please uh, like the video, leave a comment what you thought. If you like it enough, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss another video in the future. All right, guys, thanks for checking this one out. Uh, signing off, this is Jacob, JT Bros Sports Cards.